Guys, you saw the X-rings come in the other day, and I'll tell you, I was so taken, especially with the new extra-large ring. I think it's a simple, important idea, and I just wanted to get back to basics with it. And you don't get any more basic than a ring and ring friction saver. That's what this video is about. I'll tell you about a ring, sa ring and ring saver for rigging, show it to you on a tree, and then uh, share some construction notes with you about how you can build this thing uh, without actually having to do a splice. So what I like about this thing is that it's light, it's strong, and it's very fast on the retrieve. When I say strong, three-quarter stable braid in a basket configuration delivers MBS in excess of 40,000 pounds. And yet, all in, cordage and all, the whole assembly only comes in at 3.3 pounds. Holy smokes, look that up in your Funkin' Wagnalls. That strength to weight ratio is just wonderful, and I love the light weight. Remember, old fart. It'll handle bull ropes with plain ends from a half inch up to seven eighths of an inch. With eyes, the upper limit is about 9 sixteenths because the eye will jam the smaller ring. If you want to rig with three-quarter line using eyes, you're more likely going to prefer a configuration with two of the extra large rings and then use a, a retrieval tail to um, get the, the saver to come back to you. The effective pulley diameter is about three inches, but remember there's no mechanism to be damaged and that's what makes it so quick in the retrieve. Let's go out to the tree and watch that happen. Guys, we're out here with the X-rigging rings to put up a saver to carry three-quarter inch 10X plain ends. There's the saver, there's the retrieval ring, and you see we've got our thrill line read through the larger of the two rings. Here's our crotch, we hit the crotch, retie the bag behind the smaller ring, pull the saver in place, do the flip, and once the rings are positioned you tie on your bull rope and pull it through and you're ready to rock and roll for some heavy duty rigging. Now here's what I really want you to see. Remember this saver is 3.3 pounds and it has no mechanism to it. So when you're done, all you do is tie on your retrieval ring and boom, it's out of there. All you need is a bumper sticker that says never kill the groundy. All right, let's take a quick look at some of the construction details. Um, obviously you could have someone grab a couple of rings and do some eye to eye in the uh, stable braid and that would be the obvious way to do this but um, another way to get there is um, that here's here is the this piece started life as the x-ring mounted on a an eye sling of three quarter inch stable braid here's the eye sling and I just got the, the new uh, uh, extra large ring, mounted it in the, in the eye splice, and then whipped this uh, down to contain the, uh, to contain the ring. Um, if you use a good strong cordage here with some stretch, what I've got here is three millimeter New England accessory cord. It's a, not a braided nylon. And if you lay it on with a marlin spike or, or with a screwdriver, that stretch will come down on the cordage like a vise. And that plus the extra deep ring of the, uh, of the new uh, large X-ring, uh, extra large X-ring, will, will lock that in there and give you years of service for it. So that's, um, that's one way you can uh, make the saver with, uh, without having to uh, uh, have a splicing skill. Another thing you might want to think about for retrieval is one of the little uh, 1410 uh, X-rings. That, that little X-ring passes the, uh, large ring, the extra large ring just fine 
and jams very nicely on the large ring and uh, works great as a, um, as a retriever. Um, I think that's just about it. I know I, uh, I really like this thing and, um, and I'm starting to use it now for both heavy rigging and light rigging because uh, it's just uh, so convenient. Thank you for watching.